So to make your daisy bunting, you're going to need a five millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, a pair of scissors, and some yarn from your stash. I'm just using this Stylecraft Special Aran, but you can really use any yarn as long as you match the hook size with the yarn weight, you should be good. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by putting a slip knot onto our hook and chaining four. One, two, three, four. We're then going to join to that first chain with a slip stitch, like so, to form a ring. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. This counts as our first double crochet. We're now going to put 11 more double crochet into that ring. So yarn over, hook goes into the center, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'll show you again. Yarn over, hook into the center, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to continue around until we have a total of 12 double crochets into the ring. Okay, so here we are at the end of the round. We're now going to join the slip stitch to the top of that chain three. And now we're going to fasten off. Okay, so we're ready to start round two. We're going to join on our new cover and we're going to be working between the stitches so instead of putting your hook into the top of the stitch we're going to put our hook in between the stitches we're going to pull our new color through i'm using white but you can use white or cream for the petals and chain three one two three now we're going to put two more double crochet into that same space One and two. Now we're going to form our popcorn stitch. So we're going to take the hook out, we're going to place it into the top of this chain three, and then back into our loop, and then pull that through. And then we're going to chain two. So this is your beginning popcorn made. So this one starts off with a chain three as a double crochet. So from now on, we're going to be putting a popcorn stitch into each space between the stitches of the previous round. So from now on we're going to be doing just a regular popcorn stitch which I'll show you. So you'll put three double crochets into the next space. Then we'll take our hook out, hook goes into the top of the first double crochet, back into that loop, pull that through and chain two. So I'll show you one more time. Three double crochet into the next space. Hook comes out. Hook goes into the first stitch, pick up that loop, pull that through and chain two. So I'm going to continue putting a popcorn stitch in between each stitch of the previous round. I'll meet you back at the end of the round. Okay, so here we are at the end of the round. We're now going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that first popcorn. Like so, and then fasten off. Make sure to weave in your ends and um, I'll meet you back when it's time for round three. Okay, we're ready to start round three. So we're now going to change this daisy from a circle shape into a triangle. So we're going to put a hook into a space between your petals and pull through our new colour. We're then going to chain four. One, two, three, four. This counts as your first treble crochet. We're now going to put two more trebles into that space. So it's yarn over twice, hook goes into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we'll do that again, yarn over twice, 
hook goes into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're then going to chain three, and then we're going to do exactly the same three trebles into that same space. One, two, and three. There we go. So now we're going to put three double crochet into each space for the next, how many is it? One, two, three, for the next three spaces. So, one, two, three, three into the next space, one, two, three, and three into the next space. So now we're ready to make our next corner. So the corner is going to be three trebles, chain three, three trebles. That's one, two, three, chain three, and three more trebles. So we're going to continue now in the next three spaces. We're going to put three double crochet. Then we'll have another corner, which will be three trebles, chain three, three trebles. Then we'll have three more groups of three double crochet in each of the next spaces. And then we're going to be joining. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll show you how we join at the end of the round. Okay, so I've gone ahead and worked around our daisy. So we now have three corners and we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain four here. Like so. And we're now ready for our final round. So we're going to chain one and we're going to put a single crochet in the same space, on the same stitch, sorry. And we're going to put a single crochet into the next stitch and the next stitch. Now we've reached our first corner, so we're going to put two single crochet, chain one, and two single crochet into that corner space. We're then going to continue putting a single crochet in each stitch across, all the way to the next corner. So each time you get to a corner, it's going to be two single crochet, chain one, two single crochet, and then single crochet in every stitch across the sides. Okay, so here we are at the end of the round. I've worked all the way around with single crochets, and now I'm just going to join with a slip stitch to this first single crochet here. And then we can fasten off. Okay, so you've gone ahead and made all your pennants and now you want to string them together. So we're going to start by putting our yarn onto a hook with a slip knot, like so. Now for mine, I made 60 chains to start. So you're going to want to make as many chains as you think you need to tie up your bunting, depending on what you're going to attach it to. So you're going to go ahead and make 60 chains. One, two, three, four, five, 58, 59, and 60. So next, we're going to want to attach our string to our bunting. So we're going to find this corner space, put our hook in there, and we're just going to make a single crochet, like so. And then we're going to put a single crochet into every stitch all the way along the top of our pennant. 
like so, single crochet in every stitch. Okay, so here we are now at the corner. So we're going to put another single crochet into that corner space, like so. Now, we're now going to add some chains. Now, how many chains you want is going to depend on how big your bunting is. So my this bunting has nine pennants and it's quite large. So I put 16 chains between each pennant. If you're making a, um, like a, a, with less pennants and a smaller size, you might want to have less chains so your pennants are closer together it's it's up to you so you will then make your chain so I chain 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 you will then join your yarn with a single crochet into the chain space on this right corner just as you did to the first pennant and then you will work across with a single crochet in each stitch and then you'll keep repeating this until all of your pennants are joined together and then you will end up with chaining 60 or whatever number you started with for your string to tie your bunting on and that's how you make your Dipsy Daisy bunting. <laughs>